Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you Revolution's Bake and Blot range and the brand new shades that they have just launched. So you may well have already tried their original baking powders which included the best-selling banana powder and now they've gone and extended it to another seven in the range so now there are ten amazing colours to choose from. And it's not only the loose powders, they've also extended the colour range in the press powders as well so yeah you are absolutely spoiled for choice depending on if you prefer to bake at home or you prefer to bake on the go then you have 10 amazing shades in the press powder for baking on the go and you have 10 amazing shades in the loose powder for baking at home and they are both really great options they're great for smoothing out the complexion giving you a more flawless look um, great for getting rid of shine I have um, oily to combination skin so I love anything that keeps that under control um, and also because I am 47 so I have mature skin um, I find that some products really do sit in the creases so I have lines under my eyes on my forehead and some products don't sit very well in those areas for me and these are great they don't settle in those fine lines they're really good at giving you that flawless more matte looking um, oil free look so yeah I love them and they're also great for brightening and balancing the skin and not only have Revolution brought us those amazing products but they've also brought out the bake and finish brush so basically it's a brush a dual ended brush that you can use to apply the baking powder on this end and then brush it off with the brush on this end and it is so soft the brush is so soft and this is so easy to use lovely and spongy I'm going to show you how I got this look using the loose baking powder and I'm going to go with banana deep before I start baking I'm going to um, finish off the first part of my makeup and as you can see I've already got on foundation um, I've done um, my eyes my mascara and everything my eyebrows so the next thing I'm going to do is add my concealer and I'm going to be using the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define and this is in the shade of C10. I'm just going to add a bit of this underneath the eyes here just like so and then grabbing my sponge I'm just going to tap that in underneath the eye area and just tap it in that in now obviously as you get older and you've got those fine lines the thing to stay away from is definitely dragging the eye area specifically because it is so fine so it's best not to drag at all in that area and so I always recommend that you just tap it in and hopefully you can see how much brighter it looks already if you compare the two obviously I'll do this side in a second the consistency of this one is actually really lovely goes on really well blends in really well really easy to um, to apply tap 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 and just blend that in so there we go hopefully you can see how much brighter that looks already just by applying the concealer and now we're going to move on to the baking now as I mentioned to you before I haven't done a huge amount of baking so this is going to be really interesting there are now 10 different colors and different shades of the baking powder what you do open it up and there's normally a little um, film on top. You just pull that off. Now, I'm probably going to be a little bit conservative just purely because um, I don't do a lot of baking. So, yeah, I'm going to be a little bit more on the cautious side for now. Um, but also, this is the fabulous new brush as well that you use to apply it. So, this is your brush for your baking. So, you have the end here that has the sponge, and then you have the end here that has the brush. So, we start with the sponge end, and we literally just tap that into our product you put as much as possible on there or as much as you want basically and then you apply it underneath the eyes and you don't have to worry about it looking you know looking crazy that's the whole point of it the sponge is really great at applying right into those corners 
I'm actually going to add a little bit more because I think I was a little bit conservative. <laughs> Live dangerously. So I'm going to add a bit more and I'm just going to press that into the eye area there. So exactly where I put the concealer, that's where it's going. And then we're going to do that on the other side. So press, press, press. And it feels really good actually. The sponge is lovely. As you can see, it looks a little bit crazy, but that's absolutely fine. It will, it will look good in the end. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more just because I'm feeling brave. <laughs> okay, and then I'm also going to add a little bit here. Now I do have oily combination skin, um, so I always am trying to get rid of shine and this is a great technique to be able to do that. A little bit down the nose and a little bit on the chin area as well. So basically in that T-zone area um, is where you, you should be adding it here especially if you're like me and you've got oily combination skin. And what you can also do is go in along the sides here. So when you come to do your contouring, it just gives um, a nice definition also. So you take the sponge, tap, tap, tap. So you press it in along the edges there. And you can see already how it's already creating kind of like um, an illusion of cheekbones so you press it in there there add a little bit more here I think okay and that's the finished look Ta-da! <laughs> like I say it looks a little bit crazy but what you do is you leave it for about five minutes and what you'll start to see is your own natural body temperature will start kind of changing the color of the powder and it looks a lot less crazy, trust me. I'm gonna leave this to bake for about five minutes and then I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup. I finished the rest of my makeup and the baking powder has been on for about five minutes. So now all you do is you take your um, brush again and then you just sweep away the excess powder. So you just easily take the brush, sweep, sweep away the excess powder. So you sweep it away on these side areas here where I added it also. Sweep that away and you just sweep everything away. So all the loose powder you just sweep it away. Hopefully you can see that everything looks a lot brighter, a lot lighter, my skin looks a lot more flawless. And because I have that oily combination skin, I love it because it controls that shine a bit more. Um, and it just makes my skin look a bit more matte and not so shiny and greasy. I absolutely love it. I think it's a fantastic product. And as I said, there are 10 colors in the range, so you should be able to find a shade that suits you. I'm definitely gonna be doing more baking, especially if you have mature skin like I do. So I'm 47 and as you can see, I've got lines under my eyes, I've got lines on my forehead. Um, so anything that helps to kind of like smooth that out, make that look a little bit more even, um, look a little bit more flawless than I am all for so I love these baking powders I think they're great I would probably say I'm on the bake at home team at the moment just because you can see how easy and how simple it is to use and there was barely any mess to be honest so it's so easy to use so easy to put into your makeup um, routine that I am definitely going to be using these again well, that's it for this video and I really hope you have enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which is your favourite shade. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I shall see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.